Street food. It can be found all throughout Vietnam, but is it safe? Well, today I will risk my health and well-being eating all this delicious food for you. Let's get started. I'm trying to not eat so many plants. Do you have anything else? Do you have any animals here? Yeah. All right. Cheers. Pound it. Woo. All right, that's probably not sanitary. You are wearing gloves, but uh, sorry to the next guy. <laughs> you have no idea where these hands have been. Gross. <laughs> Mr. Han, yeah. how do you say ice cream? Kem. 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 Yeah. Kem. This is ice cream? Yeah. Kem. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> to say ice cream in Vietnamese, you literally just go, come on, <laughs> yeah. like you're Michael Jackson. That's amazing. Think of Michael Jackson with an ice cream cone and be like, come on. <laughs> and that's how you say ice cream. Do you have durian? Yeah, durian. Oh, can I get Coconut? durian, durian, one. Yeah. When you see the size of this, you'll understand um, the size difference between Vietnamese people and Americans because this is ice cream in Vietnam. It's not that big. Durian is a very controversial fruit. I made a video about durian where I went to Benton Market, I tried to share it with a lot of people, and even the local people were freaked out by it. They were like, no thanks. But something happens when you turn durian into ice cream. It kills that extra kind of fartiness, that, that uh, methane flavor that comes off the durian, it kills it, and it, it just captures the sweet essence of the durian, and it, crystallizes uh, like Luke Skywalker when he was frozen. It's like that, but more delicious. Or about Han Frollo. So this ice cream cost 5,000. It's about 25 cents. Um, which you're like, whoa, cheap. But then you're like, oh, that is only like four bites of ice cream too. But either way, not a bad deal. Come on. Also a classic of Vietnam. Japan, they've got sake. Uh, Korea, they have soju. In Vietnam, lots of beer, and once in a while, they'll slip in the old vodka Hanoi. How much is this one? 70. 70. So, uh, you know, like three bucks. Three dollars. How much would you pay for a hangover? You know you hit the periphery of the tourist area when it's, um, when you have this smell. It's very, the fish smell, it's overpowering. What about these crabs? You just eat the whole crab? You eat the whole crab? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this. Can I, how much is that? I don't want 100 grams. I want like, here, how about I just give you some money and you give me some crabs? You know what I mean. Okay, today I'm trying the Vietnamese delicacy known as crab. It smells of the ocean. I've never eaten just the whole crab. Now, I, I have this issue, like, People in Vietnam, they eat the shrimp, the prawn, they, with the whole head and everything. I always say it's like eating candy with this wrapper still on it. You wouldn't eat a Jolly Rancher with the wrapper still on it. Ah, uh, can someone tell this kid we're making a video, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, look, it's a crab. You're supposed to eat the whole thing. I'm not gonna be a hater. That's why we're here. We're here to get to know new things, try out new stuff. <laughs> It's real fishy. So I don't mind a bit of fishiness, like I'll eat some dried squid all night long with a little bit of 10 beers, but this is some next level fishiness. But the actual shell I thought would be super crunchy, like uh, eating like a scorpion or something. And it's actually, it kind of just dissolves a little bit in your mouth. It's not so bad. It's like a very uh, crunchy French fry almost. Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's like French fries. I don't know. So this is, we've hit the pastry store. Banana pancake. What? Banana pancakes? That sounds outlandish. For me, this is a little bit crazy. Uh, there's a banana pancake, uh, donuts that are both plain and sugared. Pastries here filled with red bean, green bean, or coconut. And of course, the shrimp pancake. I think I'm gonna go with a banana pancake. How much is the banana pancake? Yeah, 20,000. 20,000? Yeah. Let's do it. I like people start shooting me like I'm a barn animal, a zoo animal. And then when I see them seeing me, they're like, oh my God, it, it, it reacts. It knows we're sh uh, filming him. 
and then they walk away awkwardly. What might surprise you about the banana pancake is it's got a good heft to it. There's a, a batter, probably made with a rice flour, pieces of real banana, and sesame seeds. They've probably also put some sugar on there as well. Mmm, damn, 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 damn. That is so good. Hold on. I'm stopping the show. I'm stopping the show. When I think of Hoi An Night Market, I think banana pancake. It's probably the best street food you can get here. It's so delicious. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this moment of deliciousness. I am gonna bring this to my food laboratory and reverse engineer it so I can eat it every day. If you're having to choose uh, between, mm, should I get some tiny uh, soft shell fried crabs? Or should I get a banana pancake? Let me help you. Banana pancake. This is potato, coconut, and green bean. That sounds like a terrible combination. Uh, let's try it out. Can we put our face together? She said we can't put our face together because the police will come after her. I'm sure. I would love to see this police chase. This woman with her bike that has a corn restaurant behind it, and then uh, the police chasing her from behind like OJ or something. That would be hilarious. I mean, not as she got arrested, but uh. This is the quintessential combination. You've got your potato, your green bean, and your coconut <laughs> together at last. And grilled on the back of a Schwinn, okay? Now, I'm not certain, I think this is the same bike that Lance Armstrong won the Tour de France with. How much would you love to see Lance Armstrong biking the Tour de France and he has a restaurant on the back of his bike? That would be amazing. Get to the potato. Oh. Oh. It's very salty, it's just like mashed potatoes inside with a little bit of a, a hint of coconut. I'm pleasantly surprised. We've got our potatoes, our corn. We just need a fat piece of steak and I'll feel like I'm right back in Minnesota. Oh yes. Oh, look at that flaky mashed potato puck. Look, get a shot of her laughing. <laughs> Even she's like, look, it's not that good. She's like, it's a fucking potato, relax. Yeah. Okay. Why do you ask? Eh? What are you? Where are me? What are you? From Spain. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you from Spain too? Yeah. That girl with the black hair was so hot. So undeniably hot. Ah, uh, goodbye forever. I would talk to you longer, but I don't have confidence. Uh, and you're with three other girls. Oof. All right. And we're back. <laughs> Uh, wow, okay, so this is 10,000? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, this, he's making obviously some dessert stuff. Is that powdered sugar, you think? Or is it flour? It's just powder. Powder? It's just powder? It's just powder. It could be baby powder, it could be talcum powder. <laughs> Nobody knows for sure. It could be Gold Bond triple medicated powder, but it's probably not that one. They get kind of this taffy candy stuff, um, and then they pull it apart once, and then a second time making four strands, and then they make eight strands, and then 16, and then 32, and then 64, and then 128, and then from there, I'm not sure. It's a lot more though, and it's growing exponentially until the strands are so tiny, they're like little bits of string. And he puts it on a little disc, and he puts some Black seeds on there, a little bit of chocolate maybe, we should hope. And then he puts a lid on it. Wow, what a treat, guys. It's a dessert sandwich right in the middle of Vietnam for only 50 cents. This cracker, I'm gonna say this is probably a coconut cracker. Mmm, I'm probably right. Now that, I'm gonna categorize as yummy. It's not overly sweet. <clears throat> and as with so many foods in Vietnam, it's all about the texture. The taffy candy stuff is, is so chewy, but then you have this intense crunch 
uh, of the cracker on the outside. And then you got this guy on the bike driving by and he's yelling out something. Nobody knows what's going on. Try it. I would try this if I was you. Honestly, if you're in Vietnam, try everything. If you're in Hoi An especially, I don't know what they've done to the street. They've really have, they've cleaned it up. Everything looks super clean. The streets, they're nice. These aren't the mean streets of Hoi An anymore. They're the, the, the mostly polished up streets of Hoi An with lots of yummy food. Well, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave two comments. And if you liked this video, click on the video next to it because I, I eat street food in that video also. And that's in Saigon on a street called Bui Vien. It's very crazy. And, uh, and I'm crazy right now too because I'm just talking to my phone. <laughs>